more VWs, type 3s. I've got some gremlins coming up. Look close, you might miss them. Gremlin had to switch battery for a minute. Let's see what we got going on here. More beauties on the other side of the road, folks. Wow, big old Chrysler. I always wonder how many titles they actually have on file for all these things, or if they even do. Keep looking. We're looking for another VW van, and we haven't had much luck yet, but he knows it's here. He's been here in the past for a look around, but it wasn't open. They let him come on the lot. I've never been here before. <laughs> yeah, there's the door, right? Oh, bullet, bullet practice. Yeah, time to practice those old guns, folks. This is a Ford Granada sitting here, I'm not sure. Another van. Wow, you find all things here, don't you? There's a lot of saleable parts. But it's not like you don't have to dig for them. It's a long journey here, folks, today, but it sure is fun. Oh, there's a radio waiting on top of the car for you. Just pick it up and plug her in. That is one cool wagon. Big wagons from years ago. Looks like we got another beetle buried in the bushes. Lots of cars out here. Lots of cars. Hard to identify, though. Right here. I don't know why you would ever get rid of this. Sit down that road. I'm going to head over to our house. Okay. We're going to head over to the other half now. I'm not sure if it's a 60 or a 59 Impala wagon, but boy, look at those tail lights. Look at those fins. Awesome, you put fins on a wagon. We were kind of fin crazy for a while. But they all meant to make it look like jet planes, and that was the coolness of it. Well, we're going to leave this section, and you have to go out to the road and get on the other section. I think so. Well, we're down a semi-paved road now with gravel. A little bit easier to walk. Car's still hidden in the bushes that you can't even see. I think I'll come back here in a month or so when all this vegetation might be kind of the leaves are falling off and be able to see a little bit better of what's actually hidden in this treasure yard. Yeah, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and maybe uh, I'll get back here. Oh, another school bus up here. Look at these old beasts. Just look at them rotting away. I wonder how many miles are on these cars. Years ago, when it got close to 100 grand, we thought they were dead. Ford bus, yes. Hmm. All right, you anti-Ford people, I know. Ford bus is in the junkyard, I know, I know. There's a rumble seat in the front option.
Oh, T top Trans Am, isn't it, Dylan? Yeah. Look at that. Pretty yeah. cool. Oil tanker for delivering at your homes. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let's see what this row has to offer. Going too fast is always pause, folks. Oh, wow. A newer bus, huh? That's a long one, wow. Band with the tree and another Granada sitting in the wind there. Another tanker down the road there too. And a bunch of trucks in the woods here. Yeah, we're in another row of cars. We got what appears to be an old Honda here sitting in a lot, and we're coming up upon a Maverick that we're gazing into. Most of the cars in this row, though, are a little newer. Six cylinder, probably a 250. Here's what it's like walking through here. You never know when you're going to get a mud hole. But it's sure worth it. There are a lot of cars here. This section is a little bit newer, as I just said. Newer in our eyes. We've got some old eyes. Yeah, it's a lot of walking. You got that right. Compost here or topazes with uh, 90s license plates on them. Most of this stuff's been parked since the 90s on this section. So this section's really new. You can always come back when this is dried up a little bit. And the swampy roads here, swampy roads. Mixed in the bunch here, some escorts. Gosh almighty, so much stuff. <laughs> I don't know, let's play guess the car. Bring your boots when you come to these places, folks. I don't recommend heels. Nice roof rack on this car yet. On this van. Having a van nestled in the woods. Let's see what good parts this one has to yield. Nineteen seventy eight BW van and it's got factory air under the dash. Who would have thought?
I bet this thing was a dog. Or maybe that's a gas tank. Looks like we got another VW bus where somebody put a van on the roof. I mean a van on the roof, a vent on the roof, excuse me. Got a visor here. This would be between a 1974 and a 1975 VW van. Spotted. Blue. Uh, you just jump in one time, you never get back. Oh, it's a white van in there. Okay, I had it mixed up. I think it's a 71, but not sure. Be careful where you sit, it's soaked. Wow, nice door panel. Holy shit, these are nice door panels. Out there, folks, it's a 1970 van. It's being scavenged right now to see what kind of good parts are in it. How's the windshield look all the way around, though? A little milky, but good. Yeah. yeah. Can you get to my tool? Oh, sure, I can. More old 81s and 82 possibly escorts in the woods here. Here's the last row, which you can basically see from the road.